hello friends today i'm going to show you how we can configure buffer pool extension in sql server this buffer pool extension is a new feature from sql server 2014 onwards it's enterprise future from sql server 2016 onwards that we can configure in at standard edition as well okay uh, why this feature was introduced is for example i am having one server okay so even though i am suffering with a hard uh, ram problem i don't have any slots here okay two slots are there and two one slot is empty let's assume that okay and total floors are four sl slots are there the here okay two one slot 116 gb is there another slot is there 16 gb is there let's assume that this can be upgraded up to for 64 GB but I need more RAM more than 64 GB in that case I cannot replace the server there are no more slots as well so in this case so in this case so you can use some of the hard disk space as a RAM okay like as like virtual memory it is like similar to the buffer pool okay that's the reason we are calling it as a buffer pool extension okay uh, so this is the ram limitation and okay whenever you require more ram so so if in order to achieve uh, the best uh, from this feature you need to configure your ssd as a, like buffer pool action instead of configuring the normal hard disk okay it's not give better result as well okay let's assume that okay now i am having 16 gb uh, in that i have configured maximum gb as a 12 gb as a 12 gb right so if i am using enterprise edition i can go 12 gb into 32 times if i am using 12 gb standard edition i can go for four times so mean i can configure buffer pool extension to that extent okay so here so if i go here i can get that what are the z max server is one minimum 128 and maximum this much is there configuration value this one okay 12 gb approximately okay so here i can configure like uh, that more than that but my hard my d drive uh, my hard disk doesn't have to show that practically i am taking 12 gb okay so this is the command alter server configuration set extension buffer pool on file name is equal to size is equal that's it if i click that okay you will get this connection now if i go here see see this, this is how this buffer pool extension looks like so now if you try to delete also it will cannot delete that why because it is open with the sql server as well okay so if i want to know uh, the configuration details if we click this see in this location the buffer pool extension was configured okay so this is the 12g uh, this is 12gb that is configured in nmb so this is how you can configure i don't know uh, in the in the IT industry, we most of the persons don't know about buffer pool extension. So, in your case, you are having high RAM issues. So, why don't you configure the buffer pool extension and test it with the different sizes? Okay, and let me know the what is the other you are benefiting this feature or not. I hope uh, you may like this video. Thank you.